Our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it. This video is to bring awareness to injustices in our community. I mean no harm to the family nor friends of the victims. All information included is public knowledge and was gathered by the local news outlets. Okay, let's talk about it bears nor allows no malice towards anyone discussed in these videos. These videos are not created to motivate any attacks, cause any harm, nor no deep-seated meanness. Please be respectful when responding. If you can't bear to do this, this may not be the channel for you. The Sheena Cow was the epitome of beautiful inside and out. She was so dear to so many and would have extended a hand to any. Then unknown unexpectedly, she was suddenly gone by way of an ex-boyfriend who wouldn't leave her alone. And she tried her best to stay safe, but cruel intentions took her away. Greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in with Kimberly and Kay. Let's talk about it and open platform of communication where anything can be served without judgment. This evening, we are going to be discussing that pretty girl, Miss Dashina Cow, the young lady that went missing out of Knoxville, Tennessee. She was missing for three months and then they found this baby deceased. Let me give a brief commercial. We'll be right back and we most definitely going to talk about it. Shop Kimberly's Closet, created by a simple chick, encouraging all queens, ladies, and sisters to boldly create an expression of themselves through street fashion at an affordable price. Be sure to select items that will cause you to beware of yourself. Love it, snap it, and share it. Ladies, you can have whatever you like now and pay later with Afterpay at checkout. All of that at shopkimberliescloset.com. Okay, so the title of this story is Loved Ones Grieving All Over Again as Police Confirmed Body is Dashina Cow. And this story is out of Knox News. The story states that families and friends of Dashina Cow say they're going through this grieving process all over again after they received confirmation that a body found in North Knoxville was the missing 27 year old. I am furious. I am sad and confused, said Rachel Roberts, a coworker and friend of Kyle who helped search for clues in her disappearance. I will always remember the way she used to tell me she just loved me. She always made sure my hustle and my smile were there. We lost a bright light in a dark place. So let's talk about it. We have Miss Dashina Kyle. She was a beautiful 26 year old chocolate girl with pretty brown eyes, inspiring to be a fashion designer one day from Knoxville, Tennessee. She was the first granddaughter a great granddaughter, daughter, a niece, sister, cousin, and a friend with a great big heart who when setting out to do anything, she set out to do it big. Just a sweetheart who everyone loved, but to her auntie, Miss Rita Fay, she loved her as her daughter and her niece. And Miss Rita Fay had posted a message on social media wishing Dashina a happy birthday but didn't get a response. The Sheena family was aware that she was awaiting a replacement phone via her insurance. So it didn't necessarily strike Miss Rita Fay as odd that the Sheena had not responded. And after communicating with her mom and hearing the urgency in her mother's voice, Miss Rita Fay decided to take a drive down to the Sheena's house got there and noticed that her car was there. So she went and knocked on the door and could only hear her dog barking. So she figured that Sheena was either sleeping or maybe gone out with some friends. 
No one in Deshina's family had seen her for at least 10 days. She was then reported missing on June the 28th by her grandmother. And although Deshina's family expressed she was in immediate danger, they felt as if authorities wasn't taking it that serious initially. So they took it upon themselves to hire private investigators to start working on the case. Not only did they do that, but they also created social media pages. This baby's family created flyers. They had signs. They made t-shirts. They put together community searches. They had meetings. They offered a reward. All of this in effort to bring this baby home. It took three months for them to find this baby. They found her body at a home allegedly owned by one of her ex-boyfriend's family members. Her ex-boyfriend, John Bassett Jr., who her family says that um, Deshina just wanted him to leave her alone. He had been accused of domestic violence in the past and had altercations with Deshina allegedly just before she disappeared. He is now being charged with the death of Deshina, facing charges for first degree murder, abuse of a corpse, and tampering with evidence. And him being locked up, this may give some justice, but it doesn't equal closure because he can still have visits. Deshina can't. And I'm not sure if, you know, there was a thought that maybe he would change one day. But one thing for sure is, I know that there wasn't a thought that the relationship would end with Deshina losing her life. She didn't deserve that. You know, it's become common for individuals trying to leave a domestic violence situation to more likely be killed attempting to leave or sometimes shortly after getting away from the abuser. Just remember, one time is enough. Love is not supposed to hurt and you don't want nobody that's going to love you to death. And I'm going to end it on that note. I'm so sorry, pretty girl, this happened to you. You rest in paradise, baby. Thank you guys for joining me. If there's something you would like for me to discuss on my channel, go to kletstalkaboutit.com. I don't care how old it is, how new it is. We can talk about it. Support my online boutique shop, kimberlyscloset.com. We still running at buy one, get one 50% sale. Also, you can confidentially reach out to the National Domestic Hotline. They offer a service seven days a week, 24 hours a day and 365 days a year. Their contact number is 1-800-799-SAFE. Again, thank you guys for joining me. Make sure that you are liking, commenting, sharing, and most definitely subscribing so that you don't miss out on the next upcoming video. And until next time, our world has real people with real problems and we gonna talk about it. Our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it.